Hey people, welcome to another video playing Scam Citizen. Yes, you heard me right, Scam Citizen. It used to be a joke within the community. It used to be a little bit not so much of a joke if you analyze things a little bit further. And unfortunately now it happens to be true. Guys, Scam Citizen has become, you know, the prophecy. It has been fulfilled. Before uh, you hate on me, stick around, listen to what I have to say, and then comment if you agree with me or not. Uh, I also want to get to this quickly before all the um, shills, the shill creators go out there with their BS explanations. So as you probably know, 318 launched in a disastrous way. Everything was broken as I kind of expected, but even worse than that, we ended up with a broken mess of a game. Uh, but you know, four months delayed, completely broken, nothing works. I mean, my main account is logged, I haven't been able to play for a month now. But anyway, broken mess of a game. The first thing that CIG told us was, don't worry, if we have to do a wipe, it will only be a soft wipe. You'll only lose whatever you bought in-game, uh, in terms of, you know, weapons, armor, ships. But keep on playing, guys. Keep on grinding away, because your money and your reputation is safe. Well, we saw it coming, at least some of us did. Uh, probably some others did as well, but they were lying to your face, which unfortunately is a thing these days. I was saying all along, they're gonna wipe everything because it's all about money, and in fact, that's what they just announced. They just announced that they'll wipe again for 318.1 and for 318.2. So there's two more wipes ahead, and don't forget, we already know that for 4.0, there's gonna be yet another wipe. So we got a wipe about a month ago for 318. We were told there was not going to be a new wipe, and in fact, yes, there is. And this is the point where many shells will come out and start you know, wheeling around their white knight sword saying, Oh, but this is alpha. It's always been the case. No, not so much. It actually used to be the case that you could go for more than a year without a wipe, and that made a whole lot of sense. Look, I always start my videos with saying welcome to the channel, subscribe if you got something out of it. Um, your subscription would be appreciated if you're thinking of playing Star Citizen. I would usually say, yeah, buy yourself the cheapest ship, the Aurora uh, MR, 45 bucks. It's worth it. It's no longer the case. It's not even worth your 45 bucks. If you still want to play Star Citizen for whatever reason, or if things do ha do change eventually, as they may well be, as th that's how life usually goes, yeah. 45 bucks for your Aurora and using the referral code that you have there from the links below in the description, that would be appreciated too, especially if you appreciate my honesty about this beautiful mess of a tech demo, not even a game at this point. But yeah, sure, go ahead, use my referral, thank you so much for it. Am I going to be playing Star Citizen much? I don't see the point of it anymore. Look, just listen to me for a few minutes and you'll see how... I'm correct and how shills are just lying to your face and how the company is lying to your face. This is very simple, guys. These wipes are simply a matter of money. There's no need for them. There's really no need for... We sometimes forget that we live in a time of computers. We live in a time where technology is available. And the idea that the patch is a mess, yeah, it is a mess. The idea that they need to wipe everything every time they see fit... That is simply not true. Well, why? Well, because you simply see that if I approach my fleet manager, my fleet manager clearly remembers the ships that either CIG wants to give me, right? If they want to give me ships, they can give me ships, all the ships they want, right? So CIG has the option of giving me absolutely every single ship there is, and CIG definitely remembers the ships I bought with real money. How on earth, for crying out loud, can anyone be so stupid so as to not see that there's no computing magic separating things that are bought with money and things that are not? Wipes are intentional. Wipes are done because the company wants to do them, not because there's not any way around it. Sure, you can clean up a mess and wipe everything and you know, start from zero, but if the company wants, they can save your data, how much money you have, how many ships you have, which ships you have, and restore those for you. In fact, it's not a supposition of mine. 
they do that with the ships you buy with real money. There's no computing magic separating things when you pay them for real money and you pay them for money that you bought in game that you got in game. Such thing does not exist. That is marketing BS, marketing good old bullshit by CIG simply to wipe and leave people thinking, oh, there was no other way because everything is broken. Well, everything is broken, but the things you buy with real money, they exist and they persist without any issues with any player. You bought it, you have it. Now, if you bought it with the money in game, then that's no longer the case. And here is where things get super scammy. Look, as you probably saw in my other videos, I used to say, with your 45 bucks, you start playing, and if you start playing and you know how to do that, you can make enough money. As you see, this is the PTU, so you can get enough money to buy all of the ships and games. That used to be the case. Now, that is no longer the case when you're getting a wipe every month. If every single month you're getting wiped, you'll never buy many of the ships that you want to buy in game maybe if you play like a lunatic and grind all day long or all week long you get to enjoy a, a ship you bought in game for a few weeks i guess depending on how bad cig wants your money or not but this is becoming a game that you have to pay to win they're winning in this game since there's no actual uh, role-playing content or story or progression or any real persistence as a character, you don't have a, a, a hangar, you don't have a home here, you don't build upon anything. All you do is do missions here in the contract manager, which you know gets super repetitive. And the idea is you grind so as to buy the cool ships. You grind so as to buy the pretty ships. And they are pretty, but as of right now, if you want to enjoy these pretty ships, the message is quite clear. Pay up, sucker. Go and open up that wallet, and if you want that new you know, 400i, if you want that nice uh, Pisces, whatever, pay with real money. We don't care about your silly grinding. We don't care about you playing. We just want your money so you get to look at the cool little ships. And even the ships are not even properly cared for because they cannot be bothered with that anymore. Once they sold you, they tricked you into buying something, they don't even keep up with it. Many of the things in a ship that used to work when you first bought it, they start breaking apart in no time. So go buy a new ship, sucker. <laughs> That's how CIG is treating some of the most loyal, mature, older gentlemen players out there with wallets who has to do this nonsense. And it's getting old. It really is getting old. Look, I think I've made a very clear point. Ships you buy with money, you can keep. Ships you buy with money in game, you get those lost to the web. Look, they cannot even get a button right now. This is too much to ask. Things that are a mess. Oh, Fernando, you're playing the PTU, guys. This is the same thing in the PU. And I mean, that's not even the point now. We're talking about this being pretty much a, a scammy mess, just extreme greed from a, a company that is not even spending the money in true development. This is all very clear. If they have invested that money in developing the game, we wouldn't be here. If they had invested that money in additional content, I wouldn't have been talking all along about how there's almost no content in this game. There's really nothing at it. Look, No Man's Sky just had a huge update. No one had to spend a single buck more than buying the game. This scam going on about lying to people, telling them that they're developing a game they're really not developing, Oh, but money is really going to Squadron 42. There's no Squadron 42. I mean, we already know that uh, a, a developer got drunk in one of these bar citizens and confessed there's nothing, guys. Everything is five years away because we haven't even started. CIG will do videos, will do content for YouTube showing you concepts of sounds for pyro imagine how far-fetched you have to go to reach that point if they had anything anything at all on on squadron 42 you would have seen it already they would have hyped that until the end of times trying to convince you that this great thing is just around the corner they always pull that it's always a lie look if they were not really all about just selling ships for real money, not only would you have 
the ships you bought in game saved like the ones you buy with real money? I mean, it's an alpha. Who cares, right? Well, I mean, hey, it says right there. You're playing a game where at any moment they can take everything out of you and you accept that. Well, at any moment they can just give you a hundred million bucks. Why not? It's alpha. Who cares? Right? So, not only it's a lie, is it a lie that they have to wipe everything whenever they feel like it because when it's about real money, they don't have to do that, obviously, and there's no computing magic separating. Just you know, do the exact – from the programming perspective, do the same thing that you do with the things bought with real money. Save them. Have them persist. Put them somewhere else and restore them. No, nope, we cannot do that because it's a mess. Well – Wipe everything and restore things like you do with the real money stuff. Well, no, that cannot be done. Well, how about this other crazy idea? How about you give everyone a hundred million bucks of in-game money so they can just buy everything? Since you cannot really restore it because uh, fairy tale programming does not allow you to do that unless real money has been exchanged, which is insane. But let's pretend that insanity is true for five seconds here. Well... Give everyone a hundred million bucks. That way, they can buy whatever ship they want and do whatever. Oh, we can't do that either because reasons? Well, no, because there's... Why? Well, because there's nothing else for you to do in the game other than grind so as to buy ships. What motivation would you have to play if we just give you a hundred million bucks and buy ships in game? <laughs> you see how this works? They say that they cannot give you the money ahead of time. Like, every player that starts playing, a hundred million bucks, buy everything you want. I mean, who cares, right? It's just a game. Who cares? This is just alpha. That's what they've said all along. But they won't give you the hundred million bucks because you need to be motivated to grind and game because, and that is true, there's nothing else for you to do. Well, that cannot persist anyway because you're going to be wiping every couple weeks or every few months or whatnot, so you cannot grind to buy the ships either, unless you're playing all day long, and who even has a time for that? But even if you do that, you lose it anyway. So the only way, the only way you have to do any of this at all is be one of these big fat whales, buy with real money, and I will argue that even in that case, what's the point? What's the point of a game in which they add no content, Let's be honest, no content. 319 is going to be what? A fucking tractor beam? That's the new content for this year? I mean, 318 was supposed to be last year. They already presented it in videos as last year content, and there's nothing in there either. So really, guys, why play this at all? You want to play it for a little while and see the pretty ships you cannot even buy unless you spend hundreds or thousands of dollars? Anyway, be my guest. Again, it used to be that I would tell people the game is worth it, cheap ship, grind away, probably a wipe once a year, okay, have fun. A wipe every month <laughs> when you cannot even play the game because that's the case for still a lot of people, this is, this is just too much of a scam. This has gone really into that scam territory that we often joked about and, oh, it's not really a scam. Well, yeah, it's not even that, like, kind of. This really has been a scam. All along, the money that you've been pledging to has not gone into development that is clear as daylight, and there's no Squadron 42, and they'll continue doing this until they go broke. Because eventually people will get fed up and won't waste their time anymore, especially not with better games, I mean, just around the corner. You have Starfield soon enough. You have to be a complete idiot to spend your time here when you have a game like Starfield. Man, you have to be a fool. I feel like an idiot even doing this myself now when you have real games out there, guys. Okay? Subscribe to the channel still. There's going to be different content uh, uploaded. So, And if anything changes, I'll be the first one to say, hey, they have owed up to it. They change things. They, they, they you know corrected their ways, and they've gone back to doing something that is worth your time. Until then, guys, avoid the shills, stick to people that are honest to you, and you know what to do. See you next time. Take care.